Hi everyone. I had a few requests on how do you stream your board meetings at your school board. And so I want to share with you what we do. Um, it, it's reasonably simple, but you do need a PC, you need a streaming server, and you need YouTube Live. Those are the components. So I'm going to show you how to set those two pieces up and connect them so that this actually works. Once you do it once, it's, it's pretty straightforward. I'll take you through a few of the learning curves that I went through. Uh, hopefully those will help you. So first, you need software on your PC to stream the video. The video is going to be you participating in the board meeting on your computer. So that's the intent. So you have to be participating in a Google Meet, in a, uh, a WebEx or a Zoom or something on your computer, and that's what you're going to stream. So first, a popular streaming server is OBS. So if you search for OBS download, it'll pop up first right here, and you can download the software and install it on your PC. I'm going to show you that. When you go to install it and run it the first time, it's going to help you kind of set up a stream, but just ignore all of that because you're going to need to go back and be able to change the settings and do things because it only does that the first time. So I'm going to ignore that for now. The other piece is you need to use YouTube Live. So I'm going to show you that in this other tab here. So now I've done a search for YouTube Live, and we're just going to go there, take our first link. YouTube Live actually has a lot of live streams that you can actually view and watch at any point in time. That's what comes up by default, but that's not what we want. We want to go up here to this little camera with a plus to create or post. And we're going to go to go live. When we do that, we get a completely different interface. And if you've done this already, then the next time you do it, you're going to have a template you can just reuse, like it says right there, use settings. So you can choose one, and this is a drop down actually, and you can choose one of your previous settings and just use it again. So that's great for your repeat of board meetings. Uh, I don't do board meetings on this account. We use a communications account for that. So that's why it's not sitting there. I'm going to say dismiss, dismiss though for our purposes so you can see it from scratch. When it comes up by scratch, it comes like this. So you got to fill it in. So board meeting. You can get more detailed. And the setting that you want is going to be unlisted, which means that I'll do that in slow motion. Anyone with the link can view. That's probably what you want to use. So we want unlisted, and we're not entertainment. And YouTube, of course, looks at things very differently. So we want to say we're education. And we're going to schedule it. So let's schedule that for tomorrow. And we'll go to the 15th. And sure, 8.25 p.m. That's really late. So we'll just drop it down. You can see. It goes every five minutes. We'll just go to 7 p.m. Now, you're going to want to upload a custom thumbnail because when your users that are coming in to see this go to YouTube with that link you're going to send them in the end, it's going to come up with the default screen. That's going to be your thumbnail. You're going to want that to be special. So let's go in. I'm going to upload a pic, and we're going to go down. Whoop, there. We made a custom one. I'm going to choose that. And that's our board meeting kind of one we set up just so that people, when they come to the URL, if we're not already live, then it's going to show them that. And I'm going to choose four kids. And the reason I choose four kids is because for our board meetings, we don't allow the chat channel to come up. So you can have comments and other things while it's going on. You may want that for certain things. In our cases, we don't want that for our live stream. So I'm going to turn it off. At that point, I'm ready to create the stream. So I'm going to say, yes, create my stream. All right, it takes a sec, and then it comes back with a bunch of stuff. All right, so we know that's going to be ready to go for tomorrow. Now, here it's going to keep spinning because it's, it's waiting for a video stream to come into YouTube. So we have to make that connection. Also, over here, you can see there's a share button. That share button is going to give you the link that you need. That's where you're going to give people to actually come to YouTube Live and see it. Okay, so you need that. Down here, there's a couple things you need also. 
So this is a secure connection and has a pretty good code here to actually make that link. So you're gonna need this. So that's why there's a copy here. These are standard YouTube Live links and most of the streaming servers know them and you don't have to normally change them. If you find something's wrong, you may have to come back and grab it and change it. But normally if you're using OBS, it knows YouTube, so it should be okay. So I'm gonna say copy that link though, because it needs to know that, that streaming key for it to work. We're not doing 360, although that's very cool to do if you ever wanna do that sometime for grads and other things where people can just look at whatever they want. It's very cool and I've done that before as well. Now, the other half of this is you need OBS. So we saw OBS download, go get the software. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm gonna open it here. So here's the basics of opening OBS. The one thing you need to do to start a stream is you need a source. So you can see right here, sources, hit the plus. The type of source we need, and you see there's many, to do what we're going to do is actually, we need to capture our display. So we're gonna do that, display capture. We're gonna say, make source visible and stuff because we wanna watch it as we go. And we're gonna say, okay, boom, there's our source visible. So we're watching that right now, so that's fine. Um, I'm gonna say, okay. And it shows this all the time up here too, add infinitum into there. And, We'll come over to this one, the audio mixer. So the only source that we're monitoring right now is our desktop audio. And if you're doing this the way that we do it, that means that you've joined a Zoom or some other, you know, meets or whatever it is, and you're trying to capture that audio and video and send it up. So that's what you're monitoring. So, uh, you know, pro tip is before the meeting, if they're coming in slow and chatting and stuff, just turn off your audio and it won't pick it up on the stream. All right. Now, over here, this is how you start streaming. We're not going to do that yet because we haven't set up the stream. So we're going to also, normally I would just record it in YouTube um, because it does a default recording anyway. And then I'm going to go in settings. And I'm not showing you every setting because it's too much uh, for just getting your board meetings up. There's millions of things you can do with the streaming server. And I don't even know them all. So I'm not going to try and go through everything. But you do have to set up the stream. This is what connects your streaming server to your YouTube Live. And you have to set the code right here. This is the, the special code uh, to keep it secure. And we're gonna paste it here so that it, hopefully that works. And we've already told that the service and server are gonna be YouTube. So it knows what to do with it. So let it do it. Um, if you had to specify, you could, but just let it do that and you'll be good. Uh, I'm gonna apply it and say okay um, to that. Now, so that was how you set up your stream. The other thing you wanna double check is, and I have them modified actually already, is in settings, you wanna look at your audio. You'll notice that on our audio, we only have that one, and that's because I've disabled everything else. You could have other audio sources that you're streaming up. If you were talking or other things, or you know somebody, some other mic on your system, We've turned all that off. So all you need to do is turn those devices off and you're good to go. You have some basic sampling up here. That's all fine, especially as long as you have the bandwidth to do it, which isn't high bandwidth. The, the video is gonna take most of that bandwidth. So we're gonna say, okay. So turn all those off. You'll only see desktop audio here if they're all turned off. We've got our source and we're ready to go. So if we go up here again, I'm just gonna remind you, this is where our setup is on live. This is our preview window, okay? Nothing's coming up. Hopefully when we go back and turn on OBS, it's gonna give us a link. So let's go on here and what we have to do to is start our streaming. So now we've started streaming. We've got some numbers here showing our kilobits. We've got a green light here. We're live now for eight seconds. This, everything's looking pretty good on this end. So let's go back to YouTube and see. So here's YouTube. So let's see if this picks it up. So the preview's coming up here, and there you go. So now you're seeing me recording, everything looks horrible. But that's what you're seeing. But whatever I go to now on my screen is what you're gonna see. So if you were on a meet now and uh, in another window, you're gonna see that is what's gonna come up on the stream. 
So whatever is showing on your screen is going to come up. So what you want to do is set all that up and then hop on your meeting or do that in advance. And then your meeting, you're going to keep live on your screen that whole time. And that's what you're going to see. Now, notice there is a delay. I just switched screens and there is a delay in between what actually goes out on YouTube and what you're actually going to be doing live. That can be up to two minutes. So just be aware of that. I've been caught on that before. So it can be a long delay. At the end of all of this, um, so then you go live when you're actually ready to go. That was all a preview. So now you go live, now you're live. You cannot pause the stream from this end. Once you start going live, when you stop, you are done need new code, need new URL, everything. So when you stop, make sure you're ready to stop because you're going to have to do a whole new setup for the next one. If you need to stop a stream midstream, then the thing to do is hop out of here, go back to OBS and say stop streaming. And it'll stop there. Okay. So, but we're done. I'm, sh I'm done showing this. So I'm going to end the stream. Are you sure? Yes, and I'm really sure because when you're done, you're done. You can't just restart it. Stream finished. Now, you can see this is done. <laughs> and uh, no new subscribers or anything. And I'm going to, I may want to edit this in studio after and do a little quick edit on it. Or I could dismiss if I'm just going to let it go. But if I wanted to edit it, because let's say at the beginning of the video, this happens a lot, there's some crap and you just know you need to clean that off so that you have a clean start for the meeting, you can go into a little editor. So your video is going to come in here and you can just do a little trim and do that quick edit. So we could pull this over here. We can, uh, and then we're going to be able to just take this, trim it to here and we can just do a quick little edit like that and we are good if you made a mistake you clear all go back in say trim again and just drag it to wherever you need to and you have previewed the video and gone through it to say yeah that's good i've done everything i needed to do and we're good to go all right so once you do the trim you can preview it and once you do the preview, you can uh, save as new if you're good to go. If you discard the changes, you have to start all over again. So I'm going to say uh, save as new. And you can rename it. And it's going to just put it as copy. And I'm going to go, yep, save as new. Now, because I haven't released this publicly, this is the video at the end. I'm going to leave it as private for now. I can change that at any time. Okay, so that's going to save it. So now I just want to go back into my channel videos. It's going to complain, but I'm going to say, okay, because I already saved my copy there. Once you go into your channel videos, you're going to see it's going to take some time for it to process. This was a really short one. A board meeting won't be so short. It will take time. You can see made for kids and I've got my video here now. So now that's something I, well, it's still pending, but once it's all done, then now I can share that out on my YouTube channel and let people attend. So that's kind of the basics of how to do it, set it up, and now you've got a video after that you can share out on YouTube at any time using a live stream and now a backup video for you later. That is what we do. Hope that helps you. Thanks for watching.